Hello, beautiful souls. My name is Alexandra and um, I am a light language channel. I channel higher dimensional beings, galactic beings and angelic beings. Um, and uh, I offer one-on-one -on -one sessions and mentoring classes and um, light language transmissions and art form and um, as recordings for those who um, want to have their own individualized recording. And uh, the purpose of this channel is to offer you light language transmissions and uh, perhaps new perspectives and inspiration for your path ahead in your ascension journey. And the topic of the video today is um, uh, daily, a daily um, healing and support um, for uh, your subtle bodies in your aura. Um, in case any of you haven't seen um, the recent videos, I also uploaded one for a daily um, chakra clearing and support. So basically my intention is that you can, if these videos resonate of course, my intention is that um, you guys can basically just listen to them um, every day. I don't know, I listen to them uh, every morning and every evening and um, uh, like to the chakra one and I'll add to the other one and anyway, I do my own clearings uh, regularly. But basically, yeah, my idea is that you have a tool that you can use for your uh, daily energetic hygiene uh, practices um, that's easy and where you don't have to invest too much energy into it. Um, I remember when I started my ascension journey and my spiritual path, I used to do crystal healing. Um, and so I used to clear my chakras that way, but uh, it can take a lot of time. And um, yeah, I used to do a lot of crystal healing. Um, and at some point my uh, right shoulder actually started hurting a bit. Um, so I just realized it's not something that I, I feel um, works uh, on a long term. So yeah, that's uh, why I'm offering you this uh, transmission today. If anyone watching this video hasn't heard of light language yet, then please uh, go and watch the second video on this channel, which is called Light Language Explained, so you can understand uh, what I'm about to do, how it can benefit you, and what you can expect from it. And uh, I also wanted to let you guys know that uh, I am hosting a three-part webinar starting with the 29th of October. Uh, for clearing blocks to multi-dimensional gifts. It's a webinar series for starseeds and light workers um, to help you um, open up to your divine gifts that you came in with um, so you can really um, strengthen your connection to the divine, to your higher self, to the universe and um, establish a clear and direct uh, communication uh, with uh, all that is and uh, perhaps also um, you know um, help um, others in your work uh, a bit better through uh, strengthening that connection uh, we are going through challenging times and I think it's um, now more than ever important for all of us to have all our gifts online in order to navigate uh, these uh, times in the best way possible. That's why my guides asked me to uh, yeah, host these uh, webinars. They're going to also be light language transmission webinars. <clears throat> and uh, the tickets can be purchased via Eventbrite, um, either uh, for any of the uh, three individual events or as a bundle. Um, and yeah, they're going to be on the 29th, basically of October, 29th of November and 29th of December. Uh, everything is going to be recorded so you guys can um, listen to the recordings afterwards and keep clearing uh, and keep uh, working on um, what we started together. And yeah, so topics that we're going to be working on are uh, clearing past life trauma, because many of us, um, you know, were, um, yeah, went through different types of abuse, trauma, or were even killed, uh, burned at the stake, hanged, you know, whatever. 
uh, due to uh, our spiritual gifts because um, maybe, you know, the culture we lived in or the religion we belong to would not um, support such practices. Um, we're going to be working on clearing vows and contracts, um, you know, um, also clearing religious dogma and cultural programming that might be limiting your ability to fully align with your gifts, um, clearing, um, you know, any type of ego resistance about it. I had a lot of ego resistance regarding the light language channeling, for example, uh, but I worked through it and that's why I'm able to have this YouTube channel now <laughs> and offer you uh, the transmissions that I offer. And uh, yeah, then we're basically going to move uh, through boundaries and being grounded, uh, working through, you know, connections with, let's say, negatively polarized, uh, polarized entities or beings that might interfere with us when we are uh, connecting with the higher dimensions. Um, and then we're going to be working on actively um, remembering your gifts and working on uh, clairvoyance, clairsentience, claircognizance, clairaudience and um, other psychic gifts in order for you to be uh, fully activated and remember um, the gifts your soul chose to embody for this incarnation in order to assist you in your life and for the collective and in the ascension process our planet is currently going through. So if you guys are interested, then uh, the links uh, to sign up for the events are going to be below this video. Um, if you have any questions, you can send me an email. The email is also going to be below. And yeah, I would love to have you there. Um, and yeah, so we're going to move into the transmission now. Um, as always, drink a lot of water with any of the transmissions that I um, post on this channel. Listen to your body. If you feel like sleeping, eating more, eating less, uh, resting, working out, whatever it is that your body needs when you listen to these transmissions, um, I suggest or I advise you to listen to that and follow uh, its guidance. And um, a question I've been getting recently um, is how often or how to listen to the transmissions. So for people that order their own transmissions, their own audio transmissions, I always tell them to listen to them seven days in a row, um, every morning and every evening. Of course, that depends on the complexity um, of the transmission. If the transmission is um, for a single topic, let's say, um, um, I don't know, um, healing relationships, let's say, okay? So like a, a detailed single topic, um, then that would be, you know, a, a good uh, place to start. Um, but if the transmissions are more complex, um, let's say the one uh, that I posted with the daily chakra clearing and support, I mean, everybody has different issues in their chakra system regarding, um, you know, because of their past lives they experienced and many other things or disbalances maybe in their lifestyle or, uh, you know, there could be thousands of reasons why uh, someone could have any disbalance or issue in their chakra system. Um, so for that one, after I recorded it for you guys, I actually listened to it um, a couple of times in a row for a few days in a row until I felt that um, the healing aspect of the chakras was um, stabilized. And um, as I said, I, I listen to it every morning and every evening since then. Um, but basically, it's always good to uh, follow your intuition. Um, and yeah, you can always return back to any of the transmissions in a few months if you feel called to. Um, the transmissions are always going to clear a different element or a different layer um, of, of the issue uh, that they're um, intended towards. Um, so it's always good to listen to them a few times or, yeah, as I said, whenever you feel that, um, that calling. Um, so I'm going to move into the transmission now. As I said, the topic is going to be uh, daily clearing and he healing for the subtle bodies and the aura. So we're going to be working on the etheric body, the emotional, mental, etheric and celestial bodies and the aura. Um, and what this transmission is going to do is that it's going to seal any holes, cracks, stairs, any scarring 
uh, any leakage points um, and if any of you have any kind of like astral gateways or portals or openings um, that might allow interference to come in or other people's energies um, then they're going to be sealed and healed uh, another um, thing that this transmission is going to do is to regulate the energy flow within each body and the aura clear other people's energies uh, and the collective consciousness energies the 3d energies as, uh, along with the programming um, it's going to heal past life trauma within all of the bodies in the aura and um, if anything like that happened in this current lifetime as well it's going to heal uh, boundary issues um, if you have any boundary issues with any of the bodies or the aura or boundary issues in general um, if we have boundary issues in our day-to-day -day life we will definitely also have boundary issues um, in like in the higher dimensions so as above so below um, people that have boundary issues with other people generally have the tendency to have boundary issues with their um, metaphysical bodies just as much as their physical bodies and their physical reality um, and experience more interference um, be it psychic attacks from other people or real interference like uh, dark interference dark entities um, people that have boundaries can also have a lot of issues with their physical body being invaded let's say by parasites viruses fungus and um, you know different types of bacteria and stuff like that so if you have any of these physical manifestations uh, of your body being invaded by a specific element, as I said, like bacteria, fungus, or whatever, that is, or parasites, that is an indication that you need to check out your boundaries at the level of the subconscious, check out your beliefs, if you know how to set boundaries, look back at your life, at your childhood, uh, think about, you know, did your parents, um, uh, respect your boundaries, did you even have boundaries at all, um, you know, um, how do people behave towards you, the, you know, when somebody comes into the room or your home or your room, do they knock on the door, do people look into your purse, you know, without your allowance, do people respect your personal space when you're outside walking around or standing in a line waiting for something. Uh, all of these things are indications of the energy you're sending out and if these things are not being respected, then um, it might well be that you are not sending out the energy of having a personal space and having boundaries. Um, that's why it's very important to contemplate on this topic and work on it so that you can be safe and have boundaries on all levels, all dimensions, all realities, basically. Another issue or another, yeah, another issue that this transmission is going to help you with is to heal anything, any issues um, regarding the particular function of all of these bodies and the aura, whatever they're responsible to do. I don't want to get into too many details about the bodies themselves and what they do because I want this to be a short video because it's like something you're meant to use daily if, if you feel like it, of course. Um, but yeah, all these bodies and the aura have their own function, their own purpose, and so this transmission is going to heal any issues with that. Then um, it's also going to heal and strengthen the connection in between your your subtle bodies and your aura and the chakras as well. Uh, it's going to clear stagnation uh, and balance and harmonize the energy levels uh, for your aura and all your subtle bodies and energize the ones that need to be energized. Uh, it's also going to clear interference and you have if you have any type of interference going on um, then it's also going to clear that um, it's going to remove cord strings hooks and threads in all your set of bodies and aura clear implants devices and any type of energetic objects that might be there um, it's going to align them to your physical body and your chakra system uh, readjust the shape and the size of the aura and all the subtle bodies, you know, sometimes they can, uh, yeah, depending on what we experience, they can just um, get a bit out of whack. <laughs> um, yeah, and so my intention is that um, this transmission also brings your subtle bodies and your aura in, back into a state of divine perfection and strengthens your psychic protection. So we're going to start now.
Narayana bukuru to ya teria tikira tata usu to to ya tiki hene ya nana uro ya rakata tasha to ro to to ekireni ne ya nana uro koro to to ya hakare ne ya nana uri akete shiti teke ya nana uro koto ro to koro teraka tarak to ro to te ya nehe ne ya nana uno shu to ro to kira tata ya kara tata shu to ro to kira te ya nene ne ya nana uro koto ene hiki ya tata shu to ro to koro te ya rakara ta eshi te ya taka teke ya nene he ne ya nana Hukure ya nana uro koro to to tiki ya tatara huku shoturo to ke ya na ne ya nana na uro ko shete ya teki teke ya nana koro to to uri ya takara ke ya takara ti ti ya takara koro to to gura kara na ya nana hu ne ya nana shete ya takara ko to to ya teki ya te ya nana uro koro te ya ne ya nana hu ne ya kata shete ya teki ya ta shoturo ne ya na ke ne ya tata uro ko sho. Sheti kiria tata u ne yana na he kiria na ne yana no yana na she ne yana kuro to to ya to kora te ya ta te kiria na na ho kuro to ya te hi ya kara tata u she te ya na hi ne yana na u ko she toro te ya te kiria tata he ne yana na o kiria tata o re yana na na u kuro te ki she te ya ta kara tu tu ro kore yana na o re yana na he kiria te ki she te ya na na u re yana na na he ne yana na ku to re te ya kara tata u shuture tiki ya tata ra kara kata tata kukuro to to e kiri ya tata e ne ya nana huri ya nana kiti ya tasa i shetiri tiki ya tata kuru kutu to re te ya tere ya nana unu ya ne i ri ya tata ta kuru kutu to ne ki shetiri ya taka te kiri ya taka ra kiri ya tata o ne ya ta to kure ya nana o ne ya nana uru ne ya nana huri ya kara tata te ya ra kata Shotoro to kiri ya tata kuri ya tata i kiri ya tata unne ya na ne ya na na uro koro he kiri ya tata hu kiri ya tata kiri ya tata uro ko shetiri ya na na uri ya tata kiri ya tata kuro koto te el tia kara he kiri ya tata uri kiri ya tata i he ne ya na na uri ya na ne ni ni ya na na uro koto tu be kiri ya tata hu koro tu tu ya ne shiti kiri ya tata ra ko tu tu ya ne he ne ya na na unne ya kiri ya kasi. Sheti ya takara kutu tu e ne 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 harata tara kutu uro tu tu. Tiki ya tata uro ke ya na na ne ya na na uro kusho tu ro tiki ya tata kuro tu tu e ne ke ya ne ya na na uro ke ya na ne ke ya tata ushu tu ro tu ko tiki ya takara kutu tu ro tu tu e ke ya tata kuro tu tu ro ko tu ra ke ya tere tere ti ya kara tata uro ko tu ro tu tu ke shi tiki ya taka. Shetiri ya tikiri ya tata rune ya nana naka shatara tiya karata ere ya tata ta. O shuturu tukye ya takara kutere te ya takata kuru tutu ya koro kutei. Shetiri ya takara kutea nana ya na ukuru tu ya tasha tara kara. Tukuru tutu rukuru te ya tekeri ya nana unne ya na ne ya nana unno ya nene ne ya na. Shuturu tukiri ya tata keri ya tata kuru kutu ro tutu kute ya nana ne ya nana uro kutu. Ne ya na uro kore ya te kere ya asha tara kata ta. Uo shuturu tu kere ya tata ya ne ya heri ya raka kata rata uro kutu. Tukuru no no ne ya na na uro kutu ko shetere ya taka te ne ya na uro no ne ya na ne ya na na uo raka rata ta. Ore ya na na he kere ya taka ere te ya taka ra kuro kutu tutu. Shuto ne ya na na uro ya ne ya na na uro tukuru ne e ne. E kere ya takara tukuru tutu e ne ya na ha ke ya ta. O kuturu ne ne ye na na u ne ya na ke te shiti ya taka. Ti kere ya takara tata uro kututu u shuturu tukuru tutu o ne ya na na uro kutu ne ya ha. Tukuru tutu ya ta hakara ta ya te ne ya na na u ne ya na na. Te shiti ya takara kututu turu tutu kute ya ti kere ya tata ure ya na 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 ne ya na 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 u ne ya na. Ne ya na na uro kore te ya takara te ya takara ta ya na ha te ya na na. Ne ya na 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 huri ya te kere ya ta hukuro tutu ya te ke shiti ya taka. Shiti ya takara ta he kere ya tata hune ya na ne ya na na uro koto ya ne. Na ya na na huri kere ya taka te kere ya taki te shiti ya taka. Shuturu toro te ya ene ya na uro kore ya he kere ya tata ene ya nukuro to no ya na. No ne ne ya ne shetiri ya taka te kere ya na ne hu ne ya na hu ke te ya taka. Sho te re ya taka te kere ya na ne he kere ya tata u ne ya na na ke shetiri ya take. 
te kiria, te kiria, toro toto, ano yana, heri yana, no yana, yana, ure yana, yana, kishi te yataka. Okay, beautiful souls. So, I hope this transmission is going to be uh, helpful for you. Um, as I said, you can use it for your daily energy hygiene practice. Um, if any of you is interested in purchasing their own language transmission, be it um, in a recorded format or uh, as artwork, you can check out my Facebook account and Instagram. They're also going to be below and have a look, you know, what the uh, artwork uh, looks like. It's always different uh, it's because it's channeled and it depends on the energy of the person and the situation and the energy is supposed to help clear or bring in. Um, but yeah, that uh, is an option if you're interested or if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one session with me, uh, then send me an email. Uh, my website is currently being uh, finalized. so. Uh, you're all going to be able to check out uh, more about me and my work and um, I have uh, access to more um, Ascension tools and information uh, soon. And uh, yeah, I love you very much. And um, I hope this transmission is going to help you in your path ahead so you can move um, Ahead with ease, grace, and joy, and um, help you align more and more with your heart's true essence and help you radiate it out into the world authentically and um, safely and from a place of clarity and wisdom. And I wish you all the best, and I'm going to see you soon. Bye.